Hello everyone, my name is Mark Fisher and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Printestat. And in today and in the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to go to do your field to finish work in survey. Today is going to be part one. We're going to look at blocks and point styles. Just to give you a heads up, here's what we're looking at. Field to finish is the process that takes you from the coding out in the field back into automated pieces of information in the office. We're going to look at the symbology and the point styles, points one and two up there on the screen today. After that, we'll take a look at a point label style, followed by description keys. The description keys are where the real power starts to take place, but we got to get there first. Then we'll take a look at the line work piece. We'll take a look at line work code sets and figure prefix databases to get all of the automation uh, tuned in and happening so you can save some money. And last but not least, once we're there, we'll fine tune it all and see what we can get put together. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. I have a file here that has a bunch of blocks in it. Here's a quick trick for you. If you need to know what blocks actually live in the file, I'm going to use my design center, which is control two to put that up on the screen. And I'm on my blocks tab. You see that I have benchmark bollard, control point, et cetera, et cetera. What we're going to do is create the or double check and make sure what we have created as point styles. So the way that I match things together is that I make my point styles very closely related to the name of the block. The name of the block does not matter how long it is. If I click on this guy, you can see that my name is Benchmark down here. If I click here, you can see that the name is Hydrant, etc., etc. But I'm going to go to my Points on my Settings tab, and I'm going to come down here to Point Styles. You can see that I've matched them pretty closely. Benchmark, Bollard, Control, Hydrant, and Light. So I don't have an inlet, so let's go ahead and make that one first. I'm going to click on my point style. I'm going to right click, go to new. And we're going to give it a name. Like I said, I like to match my point styles to the names of the blocks as much as I can. Uh, there are certainly options that you can do. These names do not matter about the length as well. You can also add spaces if you choose. But first things first, we'll do inlet. For the marker option, that's actually what's going to show up on your screen. So there are three different choices here. You can use an AutoCAD point, which reads the PD mode from the system variables. You can use a custom marker, which is going to be a combination of one of these five here and or uh, any combination of these two here. You can see here from the uh, preview, I can do it as just an X. I can do it with an X and a square. I can add a circle, et cetera, et cetera. If I want to change that to a plus, you can do all kinds of things with that. And last but not least, probably the most important one, is you can use an AutoCAD block or a marker. So in this case, I'm going to use my inlet block. A couple things to point out here. I'm going to use the drawing scale. You also have the option to use a fixed scale, absolute units, or relative to the screen. In the work that I've done, I can safely say probably 95% of the time I've used drawing scale without any problems. The size over here is relational to the text size. So this is something that we might have to come back around and look at in the future. And last but not least, I'm going to take a look at the what orientation reference. Well, we all know in the surveying world, not everything is nicely organized in a nice XY coordinate system that matches to our, our plan set. Um, so I tend to use the view option. That way, if you have um, a twist ang set or some kind of uh, snap angle set and to orient everything to the sheet correctly, this will bring everything oriented in that direction rather than to the war coordinate system. Last but not least, I'm going to come over here to display. I'm going to make all these by layer and color. You can choose to leave them as by block if you want. They will behave slightly differently uh, depending on which choice you have. You can see that it's a bunch of clicks here. 
And when I make my next one, I want to not have quite so many clicks. So I'll show you that trick here in a second. Click apply and OK. So now I have added a point style called inlet. Well, like I said, I want to make the next one a little bit fewer clicks to work with. So the easy way to do that, I know that I just did my inlet. I'm going to right click and make a copy. Reason why? You can see right there on the display tab, everything is already set. I'll come back to the mark. All these are set already as well. Drawing scale, my size over here, my orientation reference. Now all I need to do is change this to be uh, whatever one we're going to work with. So in this case, let's make it the water valve. I'm going to make that my water valve. And here's where the size is going to come into play a little bit. Uh, we'll see what that gives us. All right, that might be something we have to adjust in the future. And last but not least, since I started from the right side this time, I'm going to name this one. I'm going to call it Water Valve. Valve. I'm going to click OK. And that's a quick and easy way to make another point style. So since I already know that one is correct, I'm going to make a copy of that one. I'll start on the left side this time. And we'll call this MH underscore electric. Change my marker to be manhole electric. Drawing scale, uh, again, we'll have to kind of see what we end up with. That'll be in a future video. And then we come over here to my view, that's okay. And you can see that all of my stuff is on layer zero and it's all by layer. So I'll click apply and okay. Lo and behold, we've just added another point style. So now let's back up just a step. And what you can see here is that I have, I want to create a block first. So the way that I tend to do things for my field to finish work is that when I have all these points, uh, or I'm sorry, all these blocks generated, I want them in an absolutely clean file as much as I can, because I'm going to start to build from here. So these are all layer zero and by layer in color. So I'm going to go ahead and make my block, I'll give it a name. I don't think I have a name of this one yet. Yep. So I can do manhole underscore electric. Name of the block, as we all hopefully know, must not have any spaces. So I do, whoops, I just realized I renamed that. Let's do water instead. I'm going to pick a logical point on my block. Center point of that manhole is usually what I'm going to shoot in the field. And I'm going to pick my objects as the circle and W. And now everybody's happy. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create another block here for my utility pole. I'll do block. And I cannot have any spaces, so I'm going to do utility pole. Again, I'm going to go through, pick a logical point from my objects. Pick what my objects are, click on OK. And now that I have those two blocks made, let's go over here and just make another version of a point style. Start from left to right. We'll do this one as utility pole. Change my marker. And this one's going to be my utility pole marker. You can see that that one might be getting a little on the large side here, so we'll change that down. I want my view orientation, and all of my stuff is on is set to be layer zero by layer. And last but not least, we'll do that manhole water. So I'll start with my manhole electric, make a copy, start over here, <clears throat> manhole underscore water. I choose to put the underscore there just so that it matches my block name. You don't have to, there's no right or wrong there. So I'll change my marker. Drawing scale is good. Uh, we'll have to play with that in the future to see what we end up with. Check my display. Yep, everything looks good. So now that I have all those set, I'm just gonna hit the save button. Uh, in this case, I'll do a save as, but you guys can do that on your own machines. So that is the first step in field to finish. Step one, make your blocks. Step two, make your point styles. That's all for now. We'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.